Now we look at the example of bubble column reactor. Okay, a liquid in a liquid A. So you have the reactant A in a solvent is being hydrogenated by bubbling hydrogen at atmospheric pressure through the solution to form another liquid B in the ratio of a plus H2 to produce product B. Okay, you have the reactant and then the reactant A hydrogenated with hydrogen okay, by bubbling the hydrogen to produce product B. The column is 10 cm in diameter and 2 meters height. So, draw the column. Right? So, the bubble uh, reactor, bubble column reactor. So, the height of the column is 2 meter. High ataupun L equal to 2 meter or 200 centimeter. High or length. And, the column is 10 cm diameter. So, diameter D equal to 10 cm. And the bubbles rise with a constant velocity of 10 cm per second. Right. The bubble uh, gas UG equal to 10 cm per second. And the flow rate of the liquid is 15.7. So, different. For gas given, the constant velocity. Velocity of gas. But for liquid, is volumetric flow rate in liquid phase. So, volumetric flow rate of liquid is 15.7 cm3 per second. So, you will have the different uh, unit. Unit of volumetric flow rate, cm3 per second. Unit of velocity, 10 cm per second. The gas bubbles occupy negligible volume in the reactor. Meaning that there is no void fraction. Because the gas bubble occupy negligible volume in the reactor so no void fraction okay no void no voidage uh, in the uh, reaction fluid okay then the first question is calculate the residence time of gas and liquid in the reactor so for question a you need to calculate Residence time in gas phase and residence time in liquid phase. Right. What is the formula of residence time? So, residence time equal to volume of fluid at a reaction mixture divided with volumetric flow rate. Or... It's equal to the length of reactor divided with velocity. So now you can calculate okay, for gas phase. Gas phase. You have the velocity of gas. So when you have the velocity of gas, you can calculate the space time or residence time from the formula L over U. Okay, length of reactor divide with uh, velocity of gas. But for liquid phase, so you only have the volumetric flow rate. So you need to calculate the volume of reaction mixture, volume of fluid or volume of reactor, divide with V0 in liquid phase. So, v, volumetric flow rate in liquid phase given this one. 
kita, we need to calculate the volume of reaction mixture. Or we can, because uh, no void fraction, we can assume that the volume of reaction mixture or volume of fluid actually similar with volume of reactor. So, volume of fluid equal to volume of reactor. So, how to calculate the volume of reactor? Reactor is cylinder. So, you need to calculate the volume of cylinder using the cylinder formula. Okay. Uh, so, you need to find out the formula to calculate the cylinder. Okay. For question B, Write the mass balance equation that would be used to solve for the liquid phase concentration, Ca, assuming that the rising bubbles stir the liquid. So, that's the hint. Rising bubbles stir the liquid. So, this is the most important information therefore the reaction the reactor can be modeled as CSTR so the the bubble column reactor can be modeled S C S T R. Okay, and um, the reaction occurs homogeneously in the liquid. So, reaction only in liquid phase with a rate R. Equal to KL C A L C H two L. Okay, so concentration of hydrogen is in the liquid solution. So what is the mass balance equation? So you need to write the mass balance. So mass balance for CSTR. So again. For CSTR, it is mixed phase. Okay, rising bubbles stir the liquid. So, another clue, it is mixed phase. So, without stirrer, it is unmixed phase. Kalau unmixed phase, the reactor can be modeled as a PFR. Mixed phase can be modeled as a CSTR. Okay, that's the function of stirrer. Okay, then, therefore, the mass balance equation for CSTR, CA0 in liquid phase minus CA in liquid phase per tau in liquid phase equal to KL CAL CH2 in liquid phase. So, this is your mass balance equation. Then, for question C, it is found that the concentration of hydrogen in the liquid solution is 1 times 10 of negative 3 moles per centimeter cube. So, the concentration of hydrogen in liquid phase already given in the question. Then, negative 3 moles per centimeter cube. And rate constant also given. And it is second order rate constant. Because why second order rate constant? Because of Ca, CH2. That's why second order. So, K value given um, for centimeter cube per moles 
berapa second Okay So why second order Because uh, CA not CA per tau uh, Ada yang kata Yang ni uh, Tau So divide with Tau in liquid phase So K CA CH2 So that's why Second order Because concentration multiply with concentration Right First order Multiply first order Overall Second order So that's why K value given Second order Rate constant Okay Determine the conversion So how to determine the conversion So from the definition Of conversion Conversion X equal to This one you already learned in uh, Reaction engineering one CA naught minus CA Per CA naught So just rearrange the equation Then you will get the conversion Okay uh, Transform the mass balance equation In terms of concentration Into in terms of conversion then you will get the answer and another one ca mm, ca equal to ca not 1 minus x so you can use either one and then insert this two equation to the mass balance equation nah ni semua masukkan ke dalam mass balance equation then rearrange you will get the conversion Okay, x equal to okay, what is the value? So just insert uh, the value. That's why don't worry if concentration of A is not given in the question. You you still can solve it. All right.